Tycho had been born without the clinging reflex in his feet. So he only hung on by his hands. And up until the time he was about two months old, that wasn't too bad because Alicia could support him with her thighs. So when she would climb up in those high towers, he would be supported. But when he got heavier, it didn't work. And so he, she was walking around with him just hanging on with his hands. And she was quite aware that it didn't work. And so she was leaving Tico with Matata, with me, with Liz, with you know everybody else that would hold Tico for a while, while he, well, she just moved because she didn't really quite know how to move with him not doing that. And the more she began to leave him with all these other people and bonobos, the harder it became for him to nurse. And then he would always try to nurse from Pamanesia, who wasn't producing any milk, because he had the security of nursing from Pamanesia while, Tico, while Ilika was off doing other things. And so eventually, Alikia decided <laughs> that she needed to capture Liz. <laughs> and Liz was going to help her take care of Tico. Although Alikia hadn't been raised in the way Pambanesha was with the combination of human and Matata helping. And, but she had seen that. She understood that. But Matata pretty much raised Alikia and the Orang Mari helped Matata. So Alikia decided she needed more help. And she, she, Liz had opened a food box to hand some food in to Alikia. And because Liz got along with Alikia really well and everything, she didn't just use one side and put the food in. She just left the box open and handed Alikia some food. And Alikia, whom we didn't even know was small enough to climb out of the box, you would look at her, you would think she could not get out of this box. She couldn't, you know, she might grab a person or something, but you weren't going to grab Liz. And she couldn't possibly get out of this thing. So Liz thought it was fine. And then, and then all of a sudden Alikia is out there on the other side with Liz. And she's like, I can't go back in, but Tico's there. Look, Tico's crying. <laughs> we have to go get Tico. So Liz went in to get Tico. And then Alikia got on her shoulders and wanted to, and Alikia's like, I don't know, 80 pounds. Then, and she's insisting on riding on Liz's shoulders and telling Liz where to go and telling Liz how to feed Tico and telling Liz everything, what she thinks Alikia, what Alikia thinks Liz should do with Tico. So she's with Tico. She's with Liz. She's got somebody that, that she feels can help feed Tico and she can stay with Tico and Liz can hold Tico. And Liz is somebody who would do that. And she's very patient, and she's very kind, and she would help Alikia. And Alikia sized up Liz's psyche really well. But Liz couldn't do it 24 hours a day. And so Liz kept saying, Sue, you have to come help me. I can't get away from Alikia. She wants me to take care of Tico, and I can't get away from Alikia. You know, and Liz didn't want to just push her away. So I had to go in and encourage Alikia to take Tico and let Liz go out and stay in there. And Alikia finally did and kind of stayed till bedtime. And then you know, everybody went to sleep and then Sue went out. So then the next day, Alikia gave Tico to Pan Benicia and said, I really need your help. And I was aware that Tico was getting a little weak because he wasn't, Alikia wasn't with him enough to kind of nurse all the time. And he kept trying to nurse from Pan Benicia. So this was like the second or third day, and he was nursing from Pamanesha, and Pamanesha brought him out. And Pamanesha brought him to me. And so I ended up staying 24-7 with Alikia or Matata or whom, whichever bonobo was helping me, or sometimes more than one, and feeding Tico. And I could carry him much more easily than any of them because they weren't really bipedal and because he couldn't cling. So I, I had not intended to do that. It was very, very difficult to be there 24-7 for the three years that I was with Tico, 24-7, and all the other bonobos. I mean, you have to figure out how to take a bath. You have to figure out how to get your food. You have to figure out 
all these things because you've got to be there. You can't be anyplace else. And it doesn't matter if you get sick or you hurt your ankle or whatever, you, you, you have to be there.